Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. We are going to do something which is very exciting. We're going to be spending a night up here. This is the Shard in London and the other day I watched a video where someone stayed in the Ritz and it kind of didn't live up to the hype and I always think this with hotels. I love to test products, experiences, places to see if they're worth it or not, to see if you can save your money. So this room was £800 which is extortionate so we're going to see if it lived up to the hype or not. There's a spa, there is breakfast buffet we need to explore, there's a gym, there are all sorts and great views. So let's get going. This room is flipping insane. Insane. Best room in the in the whole entire world. I don't even know where to start. Because you know what they say? Let's start at the very beginning. A very nice place to start. So you walk in. First, first of all, actually, let's just backtrack one or two secs. Because we go up to the check-in, get checked in. However, we have bad news and big, big points deducted. One of the main reasons that I think people stay here is because you get automatic access to the Sky Pool and Spa. This Sky Pool and Spa is incredible looking. It looks out over London. I have literally, this has been a dream place of mine to stay. I've been wanting to for years and years. It's closed, which I feel like is half the kind of payment that you're paying for, which is so sad. Now, they have offered us, apparently, a gorgeous pool a five minute walk away. So we will test that out to kind of see what the Shard thinks is an acceptable on par spa. So we're gonna test that out. Now, the guy that welcomed us was lovely, Cosmo. And we also got offered a welcome drink, a mimosa, which was really kind. Very good service. They took our bags for us, all that jazz. So all in all, service, double thumbs up. We're getting a dubs bubs from me so service so far is on a high and also we got upgraded but it makes me wonder what the room below from this is so intriguing but i guess i'll just get stuck into it and get you show you right around So as you see, you come through that door and then you're into the absolutely stunning, gorgeous room. So as we walk in, you're met with this gigantic bed. Just look how absolutely huge that is. It's absolutely mahusive. Then we pan on over. We've got a nice little leather seat, a little lamp. And then over here, we have some gorgeous water. This wa The water in this bottle with our compliments and refills of the bottle can be purchased. Do you reckon we can take these bottles away with us? Because I'd quite like to use these at home. The elephant in the room, or should I say the room with a view? I don't know. Look at that. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. We've got Tower Bridge. We've just got the whole skyline of London and it really is vast. Obviously we have the biggest bed in history, so we're gonna have to do the bed test. Are you ready? A three, two. Ow, oh, that was not smooth. That was not smooth. But you say what is smooth? This bedding, smooth, satin, silky, lovely, wonderful, delicious. We also need to check what is in the minibar. Obviously you never actually buy what's in a minibar because it's so expensive but it's quite fun to have a little browse so we've got some oj some coke some sprites some kit kats we've got some alcohol which is boring i always think if you're going to a fancy hotel i feel like they should give you the products for free oh, those jelly beans should just be in a little basket like you're paying so much i think they can give you some little jelly beans you know what i mean and then, wow, I love that they've given you literally every possible glass that you could ever want. Hang on a second, I think this is the free section, which I love. They've given you a ramen and shortbreads. What teas have we got here? This is so exciting, I feel overwhelmed. English breakfast, what's that? So all in all, I am absolutely loving it. And then if we come through here, we have the bathroom. Now, there is no denying, I am a 
bath lover, love that stuff. And my husband actually does these amazing Sunday evening baths for me with different themes and stuff. And if you've seen on TikTok, he's been doing some wonderful things. And I think today's bath is gonna be the best bath I've ever had in my life. We come in, we've got this gorgeous, massive shower actually. And the thing that I think I'm most excited about, I don't know if this is, no, there's too many things to be excited about. There's literally too many things. Number one, I'm gonna quick fire them. Joe loves bath products, which is obviously the brand that Joe Malone made incredible the toilet is one of those toilets that has a heated seat you've got a little jet you've got all sorts like look at this you've got all these settings you can have oscillating you can have front i wonder if it would turn on guys it's flipping heated it's a heated toilet are you joking me then we've got his and her sink which is crazy and here we have some more of the joe loves products which i've always wanted to use I'm very excited to use those what have we got in here <gasps> we've got all of the essentials in here we've got toothbrush toothpaste shower cup cotton buds razor and cream so fun this is where the magic happens oh my goodness this bath is the most beautiful bath i've ever seen in my life i keep saying sin and i don't really know why but first up we got these little bath products right here we've got a bath and shower gel we've got a conditioner a shampoo all the essentials for a bath and then if we come down, we've also got the very important robes. Guys, there's too many things to focus on. I literally, I'm so overwhelmed by it. And so, oh, there's a helicopter. I think the plan of action, I literally want to test out every single facility they have. That was the purpose of this video, to see if it's actually worth it or not. Oh, I've just spilled it everywhere. Not as crisp as I like, but I do like the glass. I always just want to, want to bite it, you know? So I think the first thing that I want to do by testing out the spa, which obviously, is a bit of a bummer. We can't test out the Sky Spa, but we're gonna test out the alternative option that they're giving us. So we need to ring the concierge and see if they have an option for us. So let's see. Good afternoon. Hi, um, I, I was just wondering, I know that the spa um, is closed at the moment, but um, the man at the front desk mentioned that there might be an alternative option. So are there de uh, is there directions for that? Unfortunately, there's no alternative. So we don't actually have all this currently uh, on, under maintenance. Received, have you not received an email? To N no. Right, okay. Okay, just bear with me one moment, please. That's okay. Mobile checking now. That was my hair. Whoa, these actually work so well. I found some slippers. Won't be using those in the spa anytime soon. <laughs> my foot is hanging off them. Hi. Hello, thank you very much for holding. So sorry to keep you on hold for too long. Yeah, because you booked it by the uh, through the app, and perhaps maybe there wasn't information, but there should be uh, a letter in the room to inform you regarding the uh, the maintenance of the pool. Um, there isn't. I, I know we were told by the reception, the, the receptionist. Right, um, okay. Unfortunately, we don't have any alternatives at the moment. We don't have any other pool or spa facilities to be used. Okay. Because both the pool and the uh, um, sauna is actually under maintenance until um, mid-February. Uh, okay. Is there any way of just being able to go and see them? I, I just am intrigued to have a look. Or are they just closed? You mean to see the pool area? Yeah. Um, let me just double check, actually, because I know it was barricaded. Okay. Let me just double check that. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Booth. Hi. Hi, thank you so much for holding. Unfortunately, it's all been barricaded. I've just been informed. Okay, all right. No worries, I'm then. So sorry about that. Don't worry. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. Welcome. You too. Bye. Number one is there's no spa. Number two, we can't even go and film the spa because it's barricaded, which sounds very official. Number three, there's not even a fitness first option. So I don't know what the guy at reception was on. I don't know, I feel like they should give you a voucher to be able to come back and use the spa another time or something. If I were a hotel manager or something, I feel like if you're paying that much money, that would be an option. If you need some tips, guys, let me know. We have had a bit of a journey this afternoon. Number one, obviously the spa situation. Number two is the toilet has been tested. And as you heard from that footage, um, Mr. Grack had a bit of a tough time. Yeah? What? Have you done it? It's still going. He was testing out the water 
and it would not stop for love nor money. He had to call him back up and I couldn't get it to stop. In the end, we figured out if he shut the lid, but then it was like spurting out of the whole bathroom. So take that with a, with a pinch of salt. Now we are gonna go off to dinner now. We've been to the Ting restaurant before and we've also tested out the afternoon tea. The afternoon tea I will link down below and the Ting restaurant I will include here, but we can also get two for the price of one. So we can go to try this place that has been recommended to me so many times. I believe it's called Brigadier, something like that. And it's um, an Indian restaurant and I'm really excited. I haven't had Indian food in quite a while actually. It's a bit of a long convoluted route to get out. We have to go to floor 35 and then I think we have to get out and go to another lift. The staff are really nice. Everyone said have a lovely evening and was like talking to us as we went out. I thought they might be really snobby but they're not snobby at all, are they? They don't make you feel silly or anything. Mama, what the shard? <laughs> Maybe I would have got an infection from it or something. Home sweet home. <gasps> they've done the bed. Wow! They've left our little slippers. A little, a little book. What is it? In case we just want to get our head stuck in the novel. <gasps> we should keep that bookmark as a little souvenir. That's so fun. A little bot. <gasps> a chocolate. We've got a <gasps> My whole entire life, people have been like, get 10 hour service when you go to a hotel. You always get a little pillow chocolate. And I've never had one. And I've got one. I've got a pillow chocolate. What's this say? This has made my day. I mean, look at that. Absolutely stunning. I literally love it so much. I can't get over the chocolate. Should I do a taste test? Mr. Crack said I should have it in my bath. I can't wait. I'm sorry, I'm an impulsive person, all right? A little bit advent calendar, right? Okay. I think they should invest in some better chocolate. <laughs> I'm having the best time, I really am. I was so dubious because I feel like I've tried so many viral or so many overhyped things and they never live up to what you think they're gonna be. And I really thought it would be the case for the Shard because that's how I felt about Claridge's. I went to Claridge's afternoon tea and everyone was like, it's the best, it's the best. And it was awful. Like I would, well, actually that's a lie. I was about to say I wouldn't go back, but I would give it one more try. Cause maybe it was just a bad day. I know people have bad days. The food was not good. The service was not good. And I just really had a bad time. And I thought that would be the case too. I mean, even you saw it with that Ritz video that I mentioned, but this has been amazing. Even with the spa being closed, it's actually crazy. Like, I cannot believe I'm here. This place is an actual dream. It's an actual dream. And it's time to face the music. No, it's not time to face the music. It's time to have the bath of a lifetime. Guys, I don't know what side of the bath to, to look out of. You know what? I can rotate. I can have this side and I can have that side. But I need to get all my little extras. So, for my bath time tonight, I peels. And then I bought with me, because I know that they have good baths here, I bought my, this is my last bath bomb from Christmas. This one was from my parents, sweet pudding. And then I've also got some of my aromatherapy um, bath oils. looks amazing. I've got all my little accoutrements and I'm just going to sit in here. Also the moon! <laughs> beautiful! Looking at like a beautiful moon. I'm in the bath. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. My camera's a bit foggy but have you ever seen a bath with a better view? Oh. My. Goodness. I think that was possibly <laughs> the nicest bath I have ever had in my whole entire life. I feel so relaxed. I think I might potentially be allergic to the flannels. 
that they have, because um, when I washed my face off, I seem to have had a little bit of a reaction, a little bit sore. This is really, really being finickety, pickety, whatever you want to say. But I will say, the bed is not folded wonderfully. This corner is not great. I was about to get in, but look at that. And it's all falling out onto here. That's really bad. See you. First of all, best sleep I have had in months, <laughs> actually months, if you've been following me for a while, you know that. I wake up at like 3am every day, it's really annoying, and I just can't sleep. I'm just like, I fall asleep fine, but I just wake up at 1, wake up at 3, wake up at 5, it's really weird. But last night, for the first time in honestly months, I woke up at 5, and that was it, it was great. And then I wake up at 7, and have just been watching the most gorgeous sunrise of my life sunrises are so beautiful because i love that they change every minute it's like you're looking at a different view every minute one minute it's all pinky the next it's all orange but when i woke up first of all i went to the toilet with a view <laughs> never been to the toilet this high up never had a bath this high up never had a sleep this high up so many things that i've never done i can't get over it oh god that shower was great. I mean, the water pressure could have been a tittle better. Just a touch. It was just, it was still lovely, but you know when it takes about 10 years to get the shampoo and conditioner out of your hair? Obviously, I had to test the shampoo and conditioner. That Joe Love stuff is flipping gorgeous. It smells divine. Always put the latch on. Let's go to Brecky. I love it. Also, I really like the carpet, the sort of bluey carpet. Boop. What a view. Why is my face... Am I allergic to something? You did say the flannel last night was a yeah, bit... Yeah, I think I'm having an allergic reaction well, you're, to the You're allergic to bio laundry detergent, mm. aren't you? It's always awkward when you come and sit down at a breakfast buffet and then you're like, right, well, up we go then. <laughs> we just sit for like one second. You've got second. to get your drinks <laughs> sorted. I actually did a YouTube short of this hotel breakfast buffet before because it is insane. I also think it's a really good idea if you want to go up the Shard, the Shard is normally like £25 just to go up it for about 20 minutes, but this you can get a set breakfast, I believe it was £35, and you get so much in it and then you can just sit and take in the views for like three hours and you're not rushed like you are if you go up the Shard. Anyway, there were so many different options, there's a hot station, there's like fresh fruit, there's literally something for everyone and obviously there's this massive view. And I love the variation, like you could have something for anyone, anyone who has any sort of breakfast appetite, because I know everyone has a different thought of what breakfast is, like look at this little cheese thing, how incredible, I've never seen that in any breakfast place that I've ever been to before. And then we go around the corner and we've got the fry up section and then we go on to the Asian cuisine, which is so flipping incredible. And you can also get breakfast noodles of your choice. There's the sweet dim sum, there's congee, there's miso soup, like a whole station for that, which I just think is so incredible. And obviously they've got their delicious dim sum, which is fan flipping tastic. You pick your little plate out of this little heated section and then I filled it up. I do many different rounds and I started off with the Asian section. The miso soup I think was genuinely one of the best miso soups I've ever had in my life and again the service was incredible. The congee was actually pretty good. I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. The bacon was the only thing that I had a little gripe about because it was not crispy enough but look how good those sausages were. You know when they kind of had a pop. Also best scrambled eggs I think I've ever had at breakfast buffet. They were like creamy and delicious. The fact that you can just pick and choose whatever you want. Like, yeah, I want some miso soup. I genuinely think this is the best breakfast buffet in London. Honestly, I don't want to leave. I really don't want to leave. I could just sit here all day. I kind of want to take a cinnamon bun for the road. Or this sticky toffee bun. Oh, so as even have their leaves on. Look at these pears. We are back at the room now. What would you give breakfast out of 10? Eight. Low. Oh, no. That's quite low, I'd say. <laughs> that is low. Why would you give it only an eight? It could have been a lot worse. 
could have got a whole extra point if the bacon was more crispy. I personally think, and it's, but you loved the coffee. You said the coffee was really good. The coffee was really good. The so, view, the service, and honestly, they do seem to have thought of everything. I'm good. trying to think of anything they were missing at breakfast. Waffles, if we're being, if we're going for bre best breakfast ever. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably say it was a 9 out of 10. And I'm only not giving it a 10 out of 10 for there not being any waffles or like freshly made pancakes. Because I'm reserving the 10 out of 10 for another time. And if you think for one minute, one singular minute that I'm not taking the freebies, you would be wrong. You would be very, very wrong. Obviously, always got to take all the freebies. I can't forget the pot noodle. I need to take that as well. Make sure that I've got all of these goodies. They even topped up our biscuits last night. Last night, I ate the biscuits. When they came to turn the room down, they stocked up our biscuits. That is so great. And all the teas, of course. I wonder if they would have replaced my pot noodle if I'd have had it. I guess we got to say goodbye to this wonderful view. Bye, view. We love you. Gonna miss you. Goodbye, room. We love you, we miss you. If I don't look, it might make it easier. <laughs> you could sit there with a nice view with your morning coffee. Last time I'll press this guy. That is the end of our experience at the Shard. I'm gonna do a whole debrief when I get home, but I hope you've enjoyed so far. Let's get going so I can give you the honest truth of whether the Shard is worth it or not. I tried, to, I did a pan up. Yeah. And I thought I'd do a little debrief on my experience at the Shard. Number one, the first things first, is I had an amazing time. It's definitely a once in a lifetime experience. Like I won't be doing that anytime soon, but it was incredible. I have to say the service was amazing. The food at breakfast was amazing. The room and the view was just out of this world and that bath. However, the amount of money you are paying, bear in mind, now I know they're two different, completely different things and I kind of, you can't pit them against each other almost, but Bear in mind, the cruise I went on last year was seven days, all inclusive. You got all your food, everything, and that was £400 for seven nights. Whereas this was one night. I know you can't really compare them, but in my head, I can't get over that. That for cheaper and more time and more food, I got more bang for my buck. And I'm just more, more bang for my buck kind of gal. That's just the way my boat floats. However, it was an amazing experience. And I feel like it did live up to what I thought it would be other than the spa, which obviously does knock big, big points off. In the comments, let me know what you thought of the experience. Would you have been happy with that stay? I still can't go over the fact it's so expensive and that people stay there. I heard one couple and they're there for 14 days. 14 days? Crazy, that is wild. Imagine you're going to London, that's where you're staying. Absolutely wild. But all in all, I did have a really good time and I feel like I wasn't disappointed. I was worried I'd be disappointed and that the room wouldn't be lovely and all those sorts of things and it wouldn't live up to the hype. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and let me know any things you want me to try out and anything that you want my honest review of in the near future. I love you all loads. Peace out, punks. Have a great evening. Bye!